We're seeing the tail end of the king tides, but they're still high enough to make an impact. We caught high water levels along the Alawai Canal earlier this afternoon. It's one of several places across the state dealing with the extra surge that once again includes Mapunapuno, where one business owner says it's the worst he's ever seen. So what do experts have to say about all this? Well, Sarah Madison follows up with more. Sarah? Kathy, I spoke to a member of the University of Hawaii Sea Grant College program. He tells me what we're seeing is called King Tide Plus. That means high tides is not the only factor causing flooding in low-lying areas. On Saturday, floodwaters forced some businesses to close early. On Saturday is the busiest day for us as a sales. We couldn't operate. We had to shut down. So technically, all the business on Ahua had to close down. This is what it looked like this morning. You can find fish in some of the pools on the street. Several hours later, water is gurgling up the storm drain. Earlier in the day, Ahua Street was, for the most part, dry. Five hours later, it is now flooded. Right where I'm standing, the water almost reaches up to my knees. Matthew Gonzer of the UHC Grant College program tells me tide predictions for August was lower than last month, but right now we're seeing higher water levels. The tidal prediction is lower than last month. However, that additional anomaly is greater than last month, where we're still experiencing some of these oceanographic eddies, um, some of the changes as a result of the El Nino-La Nina pattern from 2015 and 2016. The owner of Island Demo tells me he's had enough, but doesn't know what to do. I can't do this anymore. This is, this is really bad. And I, it's going to get worse. Are you thinking of relocating your business elsewhere? Well, that's, that's a tough one because the business has a conditional usage permit from the city for uh, what we do. And to get, get a place that you can operate like that is very difficult. Experts say we're at the tail end of king tide season, so what can you expect this week? McKenna Maduli has the latest forecast. McKenna. Thanks, Kara. Well, everyone, coastal flooding is still possible through Wednesday with those king tides. It's a combination of high tides with higher than normal water levels. Now, these tides are rolling in on top of sea levels um, raised by an eddy. It's swirling through the area, so we've been seeing about an, a foot above tide predictions uh, that's going to occur, and again, through the afternoons and evenings, so be prepared to see that salt, salt water coming over some of those roads. We are going to continue to see this through Wednesday.